everyone remembers good old Risa Tisa and her TikTok series, let's call it. The 50-part uh, series, Who the Fuck Did I Marry? Correct. And so, you know, we said a while back, she was doing press, she got a deal, and that meant more Today. things were probably coming. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, that time has come. According to Variety, Natasha Rothwell is developing a TD adaptation of Who TF Did I Marry? A viral series posted to TikTok by Teresa Risa Tisa Johnson earlier this year. Rothwell will executive produce the project in addition to starring as Risa Tisa. I Ladies can't wait. and gentlemen, I am so happy for Risa Tisa. I know she was dragged through the mud, called all type of big bad bitches, but guess what? Bitches is getting paid. Take that, see the God. Take that. Oh, can't even do that no more. Nope. nope. Um. I'm excited for multiple reasons. I'm excited for Risa Tisa. I think it's super cool that her TikTok series turned into this whole new life. (laughs) I think that's amazing. I think that's the thing we don't really see often anymore. We, we, We knew what it was like to see people go from, I just like posting stuff on the internet to these huge personalities. That doesn't happen that way anymore. I get that a nine out of ten. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that doesn't really happen so organically anymore. Oh, where's our guy? Now- what's our guy? Come closer. <laughs> if you know, you know. Right. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen so organically anymore. No. Um, now everybody is trying to catch a lick. Everybody's posting for the purpose of gain. There was a time when people were just posting, just just being themselves. Right. And it worked. And I feel like that's what happened with this lady. Like She just that's went true. on the internet and was like, y'all, I got a story to tell. Listen <laughs> so, up, I got a story to tell. <laughs> Right. And she did that and it turned into this whole new life for her. And I think that's super dope, super cool. And I also have to say, I am really, really excited about Natasha Rothwell and how well she's been doing. I absolutely love her. Um, I know she's been getting more into her writing and her producing bag. Um and directing so i'm really really excited that she is heading up this project right i think that's so cool i loved her on insecure i thought she was great i love her on white lotus she does a great job so i feel like she's i hear, I hear that show is awesome it's so good um i think she's gonna be i think she's gonna be great at it uh, she's super funny um she knows how to switch it up she knows how to do the serious role she knows how to do the funny quirky role so i think she's the perfect person for the job um so i'm really excited i'm always excited when she's doing something i know she has a project with hulu that's coming out i think this month um so she's been doing her thing um and i feel like I feel like, you know, I was devastated when Insecure ended, but I feel like it freed up some of her time to do some other things. There you go. I love to see it. So really excited that I will, I mean, you had me at Natasha Rothwell. I didn't even need to know what she was doing. I I was going to check it out, but I think this is great. And as we said back then, when um, Risa Tisa first got her deal with CAA, like, do your thing. I mean... Right. That's exciting and good for her. And congratulations to her for parlaying her life story <laughs> into this whole new world. Um, so, yeah. That's I, I will double down on what I said back then when she got the CAA deal. CAA, right? Yes. CAA deal. Mm-hmm. This is a great thing for creators. This is a great thing for people with storytelling capabilities. Right. Where you can you can 
put this story together and deliver it in your fashion, in your voice, and be rewarded for your creativity. Not everyone is a creator. I know everyone has a camera and everyone puts their camera on and records them doing a plethora of things. But storytelling ability is not something everyone has. And when you have that ability and shine the way that she did, regardless what you think of the story, regardless whether you think it's exaggerated, regardless whether you think it's true or not, she told a compelling story so much that many people watched 50 videos to find out what was going to happen in this story. If that's not telling you that creators can shine in today's economy, in today's world, in today's what they call creator economy, I think that I don't know what else will because this has shown you something that is after the organic reach has been stepped on, after they are trying to make us pay to promote everything. Here is someone who did this thing and was able to take off. Yes, the apps are forever changing, but it doesn't mean that you won't be rewarded for the things that you're able to put together. And so once again, I'm happy for this digital creator. I am happy for this sister. And I am happy that this person was able to show the world, hey, I took my story and now I am able to take that story and my God-given abilities and change my life with very few other resources. I think all of that is to be celebrated, no matter what they look like, no matter what you think about the story, no matter what the husband or ex-husband says, no matter what our culture may think of the story. I think that the fact that this can happen is a beautiful thing. The same way we celebrate the podcasters getting $100 million, we should be celebrating this. I don't know what she's yeah. getting, but my thing is you you made something out of nothing and you're getting paid for that now. And who knows, perhaps she will be put in writer's rooms and get paid for her storytelling ability. I don't know. I don't know if there's a book deal coming. I don't think this is the last thing we see from her. And I no. said, uh, when she signed not. the deal, y'all better get ready because you're about to see a lot of Risa Tisa. And hey, there it is. And yeah, and I'm glad that she's working with a black creator, a black artist Absolutely. to execute her story. I just yep. think that's so important. Um, we often find ourselves in positions, not me, <laughs> but we often find ourselves, so many people often find themselves in positions where they're offered, uh, they're made an offer they can't refuse, but by people that are not going to do right by their story, that are not going to maintain the integrity of their story, and, you know, just want to give them a check and do whatever they want with with a person's personal story. So um, I think it's important that this this particular thing landed in the right hands. I agree. I'm very happy for her. Congratulations, Teresa Tisa. Shout out to Teresa Tisa.